Now, Will Smith yesterday resigned from the Oscars Academy after slapping comedian Chris Rock on stage during last week's event. In a statement, the actor said he'd betrayed the trust of the Academy and that his actions were inexcusable. The Academy accepted Smith's immediate resignation from the organisation, but will continue to move forward with its disciplinary proceedings against him. Now, when you're in the public eye, I believe that you should always try and use your platform for good. Which is why, as a sitting member of Parliament, I wrote to Will Smith this week to invite him to Parliament to learn about the potential consequences of his actions. And here's what I said. Dear Will, I've been a huge fan of your work since I was a kid, watching The Fresh Prince, and have been moved to tears by your performances in movies like The Pursuit of Happiness and Seven Pounds. Like millions around the world, I watched with surprise as you took to the stage and struck Chris Rock at the Oscar ceremony on Sunday evening. Whilst I found Rock's joke in the poorest taste, I was very disappointed to see you use your substantial platform, not for good, but for the promotion of violence. I too have a deep desire to defend a loved one. When I was 13, my father was killed by a single blow to the head. My life was turned upside down, and it was this that led to me getting involved in politics. I wanted to do all I could to help ensure other children wouldn't have to experience losing a parent, missing school to sit through court, or attending years of therapy, as I did. In 2019, I was fortunate to be selected as a British Member of Parliament, with a platform to do some good. I subsequently set up the all-party parliamentary group on One Punch Assaults and work alongside a brilliant charity, One Punch UK, which was set up by Maxine thompson Curl after her son Christian was killed by a single blow to the head in 2011. A key aim of our group is to raise awareness about single punch assaults and to reinforce the message that One Punch can kill. Christian Thompson... Calvin McClellan, Graham Thurston, Lee Devlin, Kenneth Brough and Anthony Richardson. These are just some of those who lost their lives to single punches in the northeast of England since 2014. But these deaths happen globally. Each victim leaves behind a grieving family and loved ones struggling to come to terms with these horrible events. That's why I invite you to speak to the all-party parliamentary group on One Punch Assaults to discuss our campaign and to hear the stories of those who've lost loved ones to a single punch. We cannot change our past actions, but we can shape our futures, and we can choose to use our platforms for good. Please join me to help raise awareness of one-punch assaults, to help stop others experiencing the heartache faced by my family, and by far too many others. I greatly look forward to hearing from you, and hope that together we can do some good. Deanna. Well, there was the letter that I uh, that I wrote to Will Smith earlier this week, and um, Arlene, Paul, Arlene, I'll come to you first. What did you make of of seeing kind of Will Smith's actions purely on the basis that this is a guy with a huge fan following and lots of people looking up to him? And did he not set exactly the wrong example? Oh, uh, undoubtedly, he set the wrong example. I mean. Here is a man who is known for his self-control, actually, and who is known uh, to be a professional in everything that he does. Uh, The joke was horrendously bad, let's be honest. Here was a a woman suffering from alopecia. It's not something you make a joke about, frankly, Uh, but there were other ways to deal with it. He could have, uh, you know, dealt with it in a much more professional way, but the red mist descended and away he went. And I thought it was a, a terrible example and you know for him it has destroyed his biggest moment of his life uh, receiving an oscar mm-hmm. may well lose the oscar in due course he's had to resign from the academy um, and it just shows you how uh, that one piece of violence um, can can ruin not only his life but set such a bad example for so many others as well and paul doesn't this have some serious implications on free speech and comedy as well if this gives cause to other people thinking it's acceptable to go and shut down jokes that they don't like? It, it does, potentially. I mean, what Will Smith did was was wrong. Um, but I, I have to say, I don't think he should be hung, drawn and, and courted for it. Um, it could not have been a pleasant experience at all to see your wife, who's suffering from a medical condition, effectively lampooned in front of a global audience. Um, I would imagine that the red mist would probably um, rise in front of the eyes of most men in that situation. What he should have done, obviously, is controlled his temper and dealt with it after the show and and had a word with Chris, Chris Rock or whatever. You can't do that 
in the way that he did it. But, you know, I, I, I do have a, a little sympathy with, with what drove him to do it, even though his actions were wrong. Well, thanks, Paul. And you'll see a fourth person on our screen right now uh, joining us to discuss this, former police officer Mick Irwin, who uh, I've met, uh, well, over, over Zoom anyway, Mick, a couple of times now since I got into Parliament. Um, Mick campaigns on the issue of One Punch Assaults with the charity One Punch UK. My first question, Mick, what did you make of it when you woke up on the Monday morning and saw that this was all over the media? I was a fan of Will Smith. Very, very disappointing. Mm. Um, very disappointing in his actions. He's someone who was very high profile, um, who was looked up to by many people. Um, and I was shocked um, at what I saw. Um, having seen such actions replicated in the likes of the nighttime economy, um, I didn't expect to see that in front of a global audience. Mm -hmm. um, going back to what has just been said, I do sympathise a little bit in the fact that of the of the reason why he may have done that. But at the same time, we have to be restrained. We have to um, be able to deal with it in a different way. Um, and getting up and slapping Chris Rock in the way that he did um, was wrong. Um, it was an assault. Although Chris Rock obviously has decided he doesn't want to take any action against that, and it's having consequences for Will Smith, as we're seeing. Um, I think, from a One Punch UK perspective, um, it, it, it was it, it was very lucky that that was all that happened because we see on a number of occasions now where one blow to the head can lead to more catastrophic consequences, um, be it serious brain injuries or resulting in in death. Um, and that's a point that really we try to get across at One Punch UK is we an awareness of that mm -hmm. um, and educate people as to the consequences of their actions and, and think first, take a second and, and walk away and deal with it in a, a much different way than Will Smith did. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the thing, isn't it, Mick? Because I've had a bit of kickback because um, apparently I'm making a, a mountain out of a molehill. This was a slap and not a punch. But actually, that's the point, isn't it? If it takes someone by surprise, they can stumble... And the knock-on consequences, they hit their head and end up with a fatal brain injury. And that's exactly why we're campaigning yeah. to try and raise awareness. Exactly that. And I think that that's one thing that we try and get with One Punch UK is very much around that, you know, you can, it, this could happen 99 times out of 100, but it's that one time mm -hmm. when something else happens, whether they fall and hit their head or whether you have a physiological response to it and actually stop breathing because that can be another cause. Mm -hmm. um, or the blow to the head itself causes an, a brain injury because of the concussion aspect to it. Um, so, yeah, it, it may look innocuous in some ways, but actually the consequences to it can be devastating, not only for the individual who can be living with a, a lifelong disability due to brain injury, or unfortunately they die and the, and the family is left with having to deal with the consequences of that. And on both sides, because you've got someone who probably didn't intend to cause so much damage, mm -hmm. yeah. um, but then finds himself, you know, serving a prison sentence and their family have to live with that um, as a result. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mick. Well, Mick Irwin there joining us as a patron for uh, the charity One Punch UK.